Hello and welcome back to my channel. My name is AVJ and in today's video, I want to do a bit of an update on the uh, losing 40 pounds in eight weeks challenge. And also I'm going to be doing a review of those uh, keto cookies that I got from Walmart, which I'm going to talk about that a little later. I'm going to show that a little later. Um, but as you can see by the date of this video, today is uh, Easter. So happy Easter, everyone. If uh, you celebrate that holiday. But uh, yeah, just want to get straight into the video as far as what I'm planning on doing right now with losing the 40 pounds in eight weeks. Okay, now, if you watched my video uh, from uh, earlier in the week, I was talking about how, you know, I ran into a big snag as far as um, like a weight loss stall. And my guess with that is that it has to do with my metabolism and stress. Both of those things are out of whack right now. And it's causing my cortisol levels to go high and really retain a lot of water weight, things like that. So what I'm going to do is um, I was doing some research and I believe it has to do with the fact that um, in light of everything that's going on right now, you know, it's very stressful and fasting puts stress on your body. Okay. It causes a release of cortisol and all of that is really throwing me off big time. So what I'm going to do is still stick with every other day fasting but i'm switching it to every other day intermittent fasting i saw this from uh thomas de Lauer. um i don't know if you follow him if you're not and if you follow the keto diet or fasting i recommend you checking him out but basically what he was talking about is where you stick with like a 16 and 8 18 and 6 or 20 and 4 intermittent fasting on one day and then eat like normal on another day and by doing that, you will keep your cortisol levels in check, but you still can also get all of the benefits of uh, intermittent fasting and, uh, you know, getting into uh, ketosis and all other kind of stuff. So I'm going to try that out and see how that go and, uh, and then go from there. But um, I'm huffing and puffing. I'm out here doing my walk, <laughs> uh, early morning walk in the park. But um, so basically... I'm gonna get that to try and adjust everything. And um, that's also why I haven't weighed myself uh, lately is because I haven't lost anything. <laughs> I've been in a bit of a weight loss stall. I'm like, uh-oh, you know, I, I got about a month left. I think I'm a month in and I have a month left. So I gotta turn it into high gear and uh, just keep doing what I'm doing and keep striving for that goal. I'm losing 40 pounds in eight weeks. So we'll see what happens. But besides all of that, today is Easter and uh, I'm deciding today to I'm gonna just relax okay that would in regards to everything that's going on right now yeah I'm gonna just take it easy right now take it easy today and just enjoy a nice Easter dinner with my family immediate family in the house don't worry <laughs> not traveling nowhere and um you know just enjoy like a nice dinner at home you know and not worry about being in ketosis or nothing like that for today start tomorrow back on that train again you know but yeah so that's pretty much it that's pretty much going to be the update for my 40 pounds in eight weeks challenge and uh without further ado we're going to get into the review with those uh keto cookies and uh, see how they are so let's move to the next uh that's next clip right now okay welcome back it's now two days later uh from the uh, first clip that you saw um uh, yesterday was Easter, so I had to, you know, I took a day off, uh, spent time with my family, and um, so now I'm filming this uh, uh, on today. Now, the keto cookies here are from Lenny and Larry's, and I found these at Walmart. Um, I believe they were around like five something each or something like that. If you saw my Walmart, my Walmart haul video, I talked about uh, these cookies, um, the the, the uh, calories in them, how much fat, and all that kind of stuff, but. If you don't want to go back and watch that video, which I recommend because I got some pretty good uh, keto finds from Walmart uh, for a really good price, so I recommend checking that video out. But I'm also going to give uh, that information right here in this video. Um, the calories and all of the uh, the nutrient pro uh, profile is pretty much the same for both. Uh, this one right here is the peanut butter, the peanut butter flavor, and this one right here is the chocolate chip uh, flavor. Now the calories are 190 calories for one cookie. It has 15 grams of fat, 
and it has 15 grams of carbs, but the carbs are broken down with five grams of fiber, two grams of total sugar, and seven grams of sugar alcohol. Now, if you're following the ketogenic diet, that's good news because what you do is you take the sugar alcohol, seven grams, and the fiber at five grams, add that up and minus that from the total carbs. So that's 12 grams minus the 15. So each one of these cookies has three grams of net carbs, which is pretty good. Um, and uh, protein, it has eight grams of protein uh, per cookie as well. Now the ingredients is what really uh, caught my attention because uh, the ingredients are not that bad at all. Um, there's grain-free flour blend, uh, organic uh, erythritol, almond butter, pea protein, coconut oil, palm fruit oil, chicory root fiber, vegetable glycerin, semi-sweet chocolate chips, uh, sunflower lecithin, cocoa nibs, xanthan gum, natural flavor, flavor, bacon soda, gum acai, uh, stevia extract, and I cannot pronounce that last name. <laughs> but um, yeah, so I mean, the ingredients are not that bad at all. And I was pretty surprised about that because usually with these types of like uh, little keto treats, um, there's always going to be something in there that's not that good um, that can end up causing inflammation, can end up uh, uh, still spiking your, your insulin and, and so forth and so on. But what I'm going to do right now is go ahead and uh, taste these cookies. I haven't uh, had them. I was looking at them for like the past week, staring at them. I'm like, oh man, I can't have them until I do this video. But um, so without further ado, I'm going to go ahead and start digging in. I'm going to try out the chocolate chip one first. Nice little packaging. And uh, by the way, on the box, it also says that it's grain and gluten free and it's plant based. So that's, there's that. All right, so let's go ahead and dig in and try out the... Uh, Chocolate chip one first. Feels like a cookie, a regular cookie. The texture looks pretty good. Smells exactly like a chocolate chip cookie. Yeah, it's pretty good. Yeah, it's, it's actually really good. The uh, the texture is about is what you would expect from like a soft um, uh, chocolate chip cookie. Um, it tastes like uh, almost tastes similar to um, something you would find like in a bakery, like a bakery style uh, chocolate chip cookie. Um, let me see. The uh, the aftertaste is not that bad. I can I can definitely taste the uh, erythritol, which is like kind of like the. Uh, um, uh, sugar alcohol and because I know what that tastes like I use that all the time like in my coffee and uh, some of the baked goods that I make for myself like uh, peanut butter uh, keto cookies and things like that so uh, yeah it's pretty good I like this uh, chocolate chip one here so um, let's go ahead and uh, check out the peanut butter one and same thing pretty nice texture Hmm. Smells a little funny. <laughs> this one's pretty good. This one is not that bad. Um, it does kind of have like a I'm trying to explain this. Kind of like a um, like a lighter flavor than the uh, chocolate. The chocolate chip one was uh, seemed a little bit more rich. I was thinking the peanut butter one would have been a lot more rich. I know when I make my homemade uh, keto peanut butter cookies, they are extremely rich. Uh, you're gonna only have like one or two at a time. But um, it actually is pretty good. I was a little uh, skeptical based off of how it smelled, but it actually tastes pretty good. So. Both of them are really, really good. I mean, I could see having something like this with like a glass of almond milk um, if you're on a keto diet or regular milk if you're not, um, or like a cup of coffee or something. I could, this definitely would taste really, really good with some coffee. Uh, maybe like a bulletproof coffee. So it could be a nice little snack slash meal type of thing. You have one cookie with a bulletproof uh, coffee. That'd be great. But uh, yeah, they're not bad. I mean, 
for the price, I mean, it's, it's five something for four. That's about what you would typically would be spending for these types of uh, keto treats like uh, Crest Bars, um, the, uh, what are they, the Elevation Bars from uh, Aldi, which is actually pretty cheap um, at Aldi, those uh, Elevation Bars. I love those, by the way. But, um, you know, just for like a nice little quick uh, keto snack, I recommend them. Yeah, you know, they're pretty good, they're pretty affordable. Uh, obviously, it's not something you want to have all the time. But like once in a blue moon, when you get like that sweet tooth, uh, you want to, you have like the craving for the cookies or some type of baked good, and you know you can't have that, um, then this is something good to have. You know, I recommend uh, kind of like filling it out, like I said, with like having like some almond milk or um, uh, bulletproof coffee or something like that, just so you can ease the temptation to have more than one. Yeah, these um these are, are really really good. My favorite is definitely the chocolate chip. I'm gonna try uh, try out some of the other flavors. I think they have. Uh, I'm not sure if they talk about which different flavors they have, but they I did see some other ones uh, when I was at Walmart. So I'll try those out as well and I'll give like uh, my feedback on those if you want to find out more about that. But yep, so that's pretty much going to be it for this video. I did the update, like I said, on my um, uh, losing 40 pounds in eight weeks challenge. Uh, along with doing the uh, cookie review. Uh, stay tuned for some more videos coming up. I'm going to have some more coming up this week. Of course, I'll have my update again uh, towards the end of the week. And like I said, I'm making uh, I'm making some adjustments with uh, my plan here so I can get myself back on track because um, I pretty much hit a stall uh, as of right now. And I'm, I'm just, like I said, I'm not giving up. I'm going to keep on going. The old me would have definitely threw in the towel because it would have been so demotivating. Um, especially with all the stress going on as well with this current crisis that we're in right now across the world. But um, yeah, I'm, I'm going to keep it going. I'm going to reach that goal. I know I can do it. All right. Um, I thank you so much for, uh, for watching this video. If you like it, please like it. Please also share it. And if you haven't done so already, please consider subscribing. I, like I said, I have a lot of content to come out. And um, yeah, some, some really good things coming up uh, soon. So I'm, I'm not going to spoil the surprise. But Again, I thank you so much for watching. Please stay safe out there, and I'll see you in the next one.